So Muzzy, catching up after the 3-0 victory tonight against Brimscombe, a uh, job well done. Yeah, I think so. Uh, second half especially. Uh, first half, like you said, was a bit scrappy first half. Uh, we didn't really, weren't really under uh, too much pressure, but you know what, what we did in, you know, in the final third, it wasn't good enough. We, we, we were lashing balls across. Um, we were just making wrong decisions in wrong in the wrong areas, and didn't really give us a fighting chance of you know to put any pressure under, uh, on on their back four and uh, goalkeeper. So coming in nil nil, I was a little bit disappointed because territorially, uh, I think I think we, we were in control of the game, but like I said we we weren't good enough. We just said at half time, it's it's a three points you know that we've if if you want it we we have to build. Um, Make the tempo, you know. If if we make the tempo and get off to, you know, get that first goal, they're gonna have to either have a have a go and come out at us, and that's when we can hit them with our our um, pace and our strengths uh, up front. Yeah, so we didn't. We looked comfortable, I'd say, in the first half, but like you say, it didn't really happen. What do you think made the difference in the second half? Then I think, like you said, I, you know, I think we all walked in at half time, and I think we were all quite disappointed with ourselves and and the performance. And at the same time, we were all sort of saying the same things. So I, th I think as a group, we knew we weren't good enough. I think as a group, we knew we needed better quality in the final third. Um, and and that sort of, that sort of so all we did was sort of say, that's what we need to do. We, we had a little switch with Connor and uh, Carnell, which paid off very, very quickly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but Connor went on, out to the left and had a better 15, 20 minute spell second half. And obviously Carnell went out to the right and got his goal. So obviously that you know that was that was sort of sort of said at halftime. We'll give it a couple of minutes, swap over, have a go at their left-sided player who's who's on a booking. Um, so therefore, you know, we've got one of our paciest players up against them, and he managed to nip in and, and get a goal. So yeah, that was a sort yeah. of game two, plan. Two goals for Carnell tonight. That takes him to eleven for the season. That's a pretty good return. It's just, it's a great return. Obviously, when I I spoke to him. Uh, late November, early December, I think we had like a little five, six game deal. We were just going to sort of say he wanted to get back involved. I, I wanted, um, I, I needed a striker. I said we, we can be his pre-season. Um, and then if, if he does well, scores goals, he can, you know, he can move up back up that football pyramid. Um, like you said, at the moment, uh, he's here with us. He's enjoying it with us and long let, may that continue. Great stuff. And really great to see Brad Bevan get a goal tonight. It's his second for the club. His first was... Finished from about half a centimetre, I think. So it must be good to see him get a finish. Yeah, like I said, Brad. But like I said, he's he's he came in after an injury injury sort of period at Fairford, and then he played nine, ten games in a row and did really well, like the Wantage, the Brimscombe, the Long Levens over Christmas, and like I said, it just like I said, just probably ran out a little bit of steam. Um, but since then, he's had a little bit of a break and he's been unlucky not to get in. So I, I'm really pleased with him. Like I said, you know, he, he gives us energy. He gives us something uh, different to what what we have got in that front three. And like you said, you know, I I can't please everyone all the time, but you know what what I have got now is competition for places. And like all I, I've said to him a couple of times since he's been here, you know, if you get on that back stick, um, you'll 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 get goals. And like I said, he was in the right place, right time, get goals. And you could see as soon as that goal went in, you know, the difference. You know, he always works hard. But obviously there was a there was a little bit of a difference, a little bit of a more spark about him, you know, off the ball as well. You know, he's winning those balls, you know, chasing people down, you know, and he does that naturally. But he did it really well, you know, with that goal as well. So that, yeah, yeah, I'm really really pleased for him. And um, talking of goals or lack of clean sheet for Robin Hoffman tonight, what's the situation with goalkeepers at the minute? Well, obviously you've got Murch who's injured. Uh, he played through injury for a couple of weeks for us, and then Harry came in. Harry came, did really well. Um, he's been called up to Gibraltar under 21s and I think he's in North Macedonia at the moment and he's got two games at the end of the month um, so we were sort of scratching around trying to get a keeper sorted and signed on um, I spoke to Robin in the week and he's, you know, you know, if we couldn't sort anything out he'd make, he would make himself available and to be fair to him on a bit of a blustery night a uh, bit of a bobbly pitch you know, I think everything he, ha he did and had to do he, he did really really well yeah, great, great evening, most well done.